Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, please like, subscribe and share. And my existing subscribers, as always, I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your suggestions and I appreciate the topics you ask me to talk about. Um, today, I want to talk about the Libra coin again. I did speak about it the other day, but the circumstances have changed. Everything has changed. So I was listening to a video because um, Zuckerberg was being interviewed or interrogated or scrutinized. I'm not quite sure what the right word is by the Financial Services Committee about the Libra coin. And what they're saying is that they want he's saying that he wants end to end encryption end to end encryption and he wants to he wants the um, wallet that is going on Facebook where our, we do our financial transactions he wants it anonymous and what they're saying is that it's going to invite all kinds of terrorism child exploitation and child abuse and they're really giving him a hard time before I watched that video I kind of thought that Zuckerberg was really try really trying to trick us into um, having this Libra coin, but it really felt watching the, the the video that he genuinely was trying to be loyal to his customers, but that he he's coming he's coming he's facing serious obstacles. I didn't even know that WhatsApp had merged and linked with Facebook. I don't know when that happened, but apparently 18 months after he said it wouldn't happen, it has happened. So what's happened? Well, I think I did know that, actually. Yeah, I just wasn't thinking. But anyway, so what's happening now is that they're trying to get him to disclose and share information um, with them. I, I, I mean... He had 28 um, members that joined that joined his company, you know, that were going to be a part of what he was doing. And they've dropped out. Not I don't know if it's the whole 28, but significant partners like eBay, PayPal, they've dropped out Visa. They're not going ahead with it. And he's and they're say, asking him, why does he think that's happening? And he's saying it's because of the risk and the scrutiny. You know, they when he first came out with the idea, they were all on board. And now they're jumping ship. Anyway, it's quite a complex subject. So I'm just going to read from my notes. I hope you don't mind. So um, cryptocurrency products um, are deregulated versus safe and secure regulated. Oh, that doesn't make much sense, does it? But what they were talking about is that normally they're deregulated, but he's saying that he can make it safe by sec the security measures he's got in place. Um, he is working on anti-money laundering and or CFT. Apparently, these are systems that would prevent it from happening because these are their concerns, the financial institution, they're concerned that, you know, criminals can hide money in these uh, anonymous wallets. And so th th what they're saying is that he's facilitating that. Um, accusation that he can't have strong money laundering controls and anti-terrorist and, and anonymous wallets. He said, they said there's a loophole for criminals looking for, looking for a place to hide and launder money. So what they're saying is that if you have an, an anonymous wallet, no, and that, you know, the information is not shareable, then you can actually, people can use it for money laundering and anti-terrorist funding terrorism. I mean... The government, they always have to give the extreme cases. And I was just wondering whether or not they were talking about this because they have to be seen as covering every element, but it's still going to go ahead anyway. You know, sometimes it's like when um, 
not a court case. But sometimes you have people discuss a subject and they go through all of it and they have to dig it up and dig it out and then it goes through anyway. But they need to have shown that they asked all of these questions. And I'm wondering if that's what this is and um, whether it's just a ploy to show us that, OK, because this is public, isn't it? To show that they have asked these questions, they are concerned about it, but it's going to go through anyway. That's what I'm wondering. Um, apparently, anonymous wallets need to be transparent. That's what they're saying. According to the Financial Services Committee, otherwise we have the same problem as the LLCs. Zuckerberg is having problems being faithful to his customers and complying with financial controllers, CFT, AML and Finance Committee. Um, Zuckerberg commits to safe identity, will work with all the regulations. That's what he's committing to. He will work towards a standard of AML or CFT or exceed it, he claims. Facebook Calibra coin will be a secure and regulated financial financing alternative. Payment space needs that. Same standard as anti-money laundering exceeds standards of other money platform. Libram will have a strong identity. What I was writing up notes as he was saying it, but what he was saying is that they have these requirements, the Financial Services Committee. They have all these requirements. And what Zuckerberg is reassuring and having, is having a commitment to is that he's going to have everything in place that's going to make sure all the security protocols in place that's going to make anti money, you know, anti terrorism and money laundering practically impossible. So that's what he's saying to them. They're kind of still questioning him though. Um, apparently, when Libra was announced, 28 companies joined as founding members by signing a non-binding letter of intent to join the association. But in recent weeks, many of these founding members have dropped out of the association. PayPal has dropped out, Visa, MasterCard, Stripe, Bookings Holdings, eBay and Mercato Bago lost, you know, and these are stable partners. So... He doesn't seem too concerned about it, though. Or maybe he's just not showing it. Um, he reckons they dropped out because of the complex and risky project and too much scrutiny. Um, apparently, one of the ladies was saying 16.8 million confirmed by the Department of Justice um, child sexual abuse material. So 16.8 million child sexual abuse material out of 18.4 million photos and videos can be found on Facebook. But however, what Zuckerberg was saying is that they're the ones that actually highlighted it. So they are quite aware and they're rooting it out. But they were using it as a negative to say, listen, all of these all of these um, child abuse photos and videos are on Facebook. And what Zuckerberg is saying, yeah, I know they're on Facebook, but we're rooting them out. We're getting rid of them. We're stopping it. And they use they've got sophistic, sophisticated. Um, when she was asking how you're going to stop it, how you're going to stop it, he says we are building sophisticated systems to detect, or they've already got them in place. Um, face Facebook wants end-to-end -end encryption. Not going to help with the reporting process. It will hide child abuse. That's what they're saying. Safety is lost if Facebook institutes its end-to-end -end encryption. Trust issues, not sharing financial information or data or any third party without customer consent. However, they release personal data. Yeah, they were going on, you know, about, you know, all those telephone numbers that Facebook released. And then what they're saying is, how can we trust you with our money if you lost, if you if you exposed all that material? And the thing is, he can't, he's, he's doomed if he does and he's doomed if he doesn't. Because on the one hand, this is how he's trying to protect the money by using end-to-end -end encryption and making it safe for the client. But what they're saying is they want access. And then if it has, if they have access, anything can really happen to it. So the consequences, um, because of that, because of the telephone numbers, he was fined 5 billion. 
to FTC for violating consumer rights relating to the Cambridge Analytical scandal. Um, I think it's more a question of how can we trust Facebook not to bow under political pressure. And I think that's where we are now. You know, yeah, he's quite strong now, what he's saying, but how strong can he be if he really wants this Libra think coin to take off and he's invested all these millions? How do we know he's not going to bow to political pressure and expose and not bother with the end-to-end -end encryption and leave us all vulnerable and everybody knowing our business? Ah, uh, what else? The EU, let me see, that doesn't, that's not really important. Zuckerberg said um, they're working to build trust. They're changing the way they operate. Um, the G7 released a report stating that global stable coins should have significant, could have significant adverse effects both domestically and internationally. Given the G7 concerns and the concerns the final Ser Financial Services Committee asked Zuckerberg if he would consider a moratorium on the launching of Libra until Congress, not the regulators, can develop a legal framework as a guidance for regulations. That's what one of the um, officers asked him. And Zuckerberg responded, my understanding is that Congress offers significant oversight of the regulators of these committees, so that to me would seem to be the appropriate way for that to happen. And she, she got the huff and said, so that means no. Anyway, in a nutshell, we don't know what's happened with the Libra coin now uh, because too many people have pulled out. There's a lot of scrutiny. And if it does, if it does get through, I'd be pretty sceptical, to be honest, because I think he's going to have to sell out in order to get it through. That's my personal opinion. And that's all for now. Bye bye.